In this video, I want to show you how I use these original sound recordings and recreate them into a sonar sound. But if you're wondering, why would I even do that? And the reason is we are in Malta and they're shooting the third season of their sport. And then we got even more curious after we met the sound department. So we watched season one and season two. And that's when I heard the sonar sound and thought, why not just recreating this? And that's what we're gonna do. Also, before we jump into the video, go ahead and follow us on Instagram where you can find behind the scenes, quick tutorials and reels. So come along with us and let's hit the road. This is super exciting here behind me. We are at the ferry point from Malta to Gozo and I'm gonna use the hydrophone to record the rotor sounds underwater. So let's do this. And that's what I love about using hydrophones because you just record sounds that you can't hear above the water. So now let's find another sound and then let's go back home to the computer and see what we can do with it. And we made it to Paradise Bay. It's very windy, so I'm not gonna talk too much, but what we're gonna do is we go down to the bay. There is a pole and on that pole, we're gonna record our next sound effect with a geophone. All right, that was fun and I hope you enjoyed a little tour around Malta and just that you know it took us 45 minutes just to get to the tube or to the pole and now we're back and now let's see what we can do to recreate this submarine sound. Just let me play the note here on my keyboard and then let's see what we can do with it. Boom. And each time I go higher then of course it plays higher. If you see me um, here on the H1N regulating, that's when I think it's too loud. And then, so don't get distracted by that. But in order to get these kind of submarine sound, we need to pitch the sound itself here. And that's great in Ableton. We can just go high here with the pitch. 15, perfect. I like 15. And now let's see. See, that's a little too loud. Now we already have this higher pitch sound. And that's so cool about sound design. You know, you can't do anything wrong, especially I'm not a professional sound designer, so just learn with me along the way. Just having fun. But when we listen to it, it sounds very like dry. And if you turn on Raum, I like Raum. If you have a different reverb program or plugin, please feel free to use that. And let's just see how this already sounds so different. I kind of like that. And then you have this kind of like, oh, it's nice. And then when you hear this in the background, this like after this bing, that already gives you the illusion of being underwater. And then you can decide, let's go higher. Hmm, this is nice. But imagine you are in the submarine and you want to have this, this kind of, but a, bit, a little bit more distortion. Maybe you have never heard about it and it's called Gorgon. And this is crazy. So Gorgon is, is like a plugin where you can really destroy and crush 
the audio. So I have to be very careful, especially also if you listen with headphones. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the output really low and then when we drive it up to crush the audio, to distort it, that's when you get this kind of terror into the sound. Let's listen to it, just how it sounds like from here. Also, just wanna look, yes, we are here. All right. Oh, now let's drive this up a little bit. It's, you can hear this, right? It's, oh, now you get this distortion. And depending on the velocity of your keyboard, you can decide if you want to have this destruction or this crushing of the sound more intense or less intense. What is if you're hitting this key? So if you are thinking, oh, maybe it, I don't want to create a submarine sound, but I have a similar idea or something else and you have never heard about Gorgon, feel free to, to try it out. I hope it is still available because I downloaded this a couple months ago, let's say like six, seven months ago. So feel free to look for Gorgon. If I can find it, I have the link in the description down below. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna play around with it, gonna create this sound, and then we're gonna use a different sound that we can integrate into this sound of this sauna. It took me quite a while to figure out or to have the feeling that this is the right sound and I also use YouTube as a reference. So I just looked for sonar sound effects and I got an idea how it sounds like and this is what I came up with. You can hear from Gorgon, you know, this kind of destruction sound. So it gives you the feeling of being like in an old submarine with this kind of like distorted sonar sound and I feel like it sounds pretty cool and now let's see what else we can do with the underwater sound and that's all about it's all about illusion right if it comes to sound and I felt when I listened back to the sounds that were recorded by the ferry and I listened back like I can't actually really hear the rotor in the water because it was just too much going on it was just too quick too fast but then I was on a different spot in the morning at 6 a.m trying to record the MSC Grandiosa coming into the harbor of Valletta and it was great just here look at this little clip that I have for you and it was amazing just seeing this incredible powerful ship right in front of me I had the hydrophone in the water and this is actually how it sounds like um, I'm gonna go over here a little bit. So you can hear this. The thing about it is that if you record these sounds near a harbor, then you have other noises as well, this crackling and everything. So if you really want to record a roto underwater in an open water, it would be amazing to have. Maybe someday I have the chance. But for now, I just have to use what I, what I have, what is available to me. And I have my keyboard here. So that means I can actually change the pitch. And that's also what we're gonna do. And, and that's the great thing about using a pitch. And if you have underwater sounds, it's, as I mentioned before, it's, it's an illusion, right? That gives you the, the feeling of being underwater. But right now, especially if, you, if you're more into submarines, that's what we are because we're recording all these sounds. Then we watched another series from Smarter Every Day. And if you see him in the submarine talking to all the people, it doesn't even sound at all like that, right? It's more about, there's a lot of other noises from the mechanics, from the kitchens just machines so you actually wouldn't even get this sound but for movies and for film it's just different now what i do is i'm gonna also change the pitch of it just just play any note i have nothing prepared so i'm gonna do this the first time now this is cool when you have this and then all what you do is again like adding reverb is always so nice just imagine you're looking up and you're like, oh, the destroyer is above us, Schaumgeräusche. 
And now let's play this together with the sonar. Of course, then you can uh, adjust. If we go here, oh, this is one more time. All right, I think that was fun, but there's another element of sound that I wanted to include, and that's an kind of an underwater bomb sound. So what we did is we had this balloon, we blowed it up in our bathtub and I thought, why not just including, make it sound like a water bomb. But if I listen to it and I can't trick my own ears, I know exactly it doesn't even sound at all like what I had in mind. And that's the thing about sound design. It is not always that easy. And if you watch movies and it blows you away, these are people who spend hours, days, weeks to recreate a scene, to recreate a sound. So it is not just that easy to, oh, I can just use one or two tracks and then magically everything happens. No, these sound engineers have hundreds of tracks sometimes under the video. And that's what I wanted to show you too. It is, it is fun to recreate something, but if you wanna be really perfect and really specific, there's so much more work involved. So I really hope you had fun watching me experimenting with sound. And if you're a professional sound engineer or sound designer, and you know how to make a sound like this even better, feel free to leave us a comment down below. I'm always curious about other free plugins. So if you know anything, I should make a video about it. Please let us know and I'm really happy to do this. And if you wanna support our channel and our work, we have hundreds of sound libraries on our Bandcamp account. We have the all-in-one bundle with thousands of recordings that can help your project make it sound better and you would help us of course along the way so feel free to check it out and i really hope to see you in our next video